This is Rick Özlem Erol. Coffee time with you again. If you have listened and watched the videos, like we are talking about some limiting obstacles we have when we want to achieve our dreams. Some of them might be real, but some of them are just some excuses that we come up with. And we want to overcome all those excuses so that we can live our full potential and chase our dreams and achieve them. One of them that we already discussed is the two voices that we have. One of them wants to pull us forward. One of them wants us to stay in our comfort zone. We also talked about our thoughts, how we believe them without even questioning them. Now we're also going to talk about some stories that we make up. As a child, without knowing it, subconsciously, we make up stories all the time. If we broke something around the house and if our parents gave us that look, we just maybe make up the story that there is something wrong about us or that we're not lovable. If our parents got divorced when we were a child, we even think that it might be because of us, something that we did that caused the divorce, which is, of course, very devastating. Since we don't do that consciously, we never question them. But the problem is we bring it to our adult life and we live like that. If we live within that story, which is a very limiting story, and it makes up some very judgmental thoughts about who we are and what we did as a child. Until we get to do our self-work, our inner work, we don't know. Those are only made-up stories. And we did that. And mostly what we do is that we blame our parents we blame our circumstances for those stories, although we were the ones who made it up in the first place. And it's not to judge ourselves either. It's just to be self-aware that we, as human beings, always make up stories. And it doesn't end in our childhood either. We do it as adults. If somebody doesn't call us, we are making up a story that maybe we said something the last time we called them, and that's why they don't feel good about calling us back again. And we don't know that, but we believe it. If we get to be, for example, disabled all of a sudden, we believe that people will not want to be around us. We don't even question that. We just believe that. If we want more money, and if we have that, we believe that we're going to lose it all. None of them are really telling the truth. Again, the problem is not to have these stories, but the fact that we don't question if they're right or wrong and believe in, in it. And once we believe in these, it just first of all gives us a bad perception of who we are because we're so judgmental and we made up those stories maybe when we're very young, when we couldn't process what was happening in our childhood and around us. And the second thing is we can't live our potential in those limiting stories. Again, as always, it comes back to self-awareness, hearing our stories, and before we believe them ever again, let's question them and see if it is really reflecting the truth. If it is about somebody else, again, we might be checking in with them to see if that's the truth or if we are just making up stories about them as well. So the most important story is about the stories that we make up about ourselves because that will hinder us from doing what we love to do, going after our dreams, achieving them, because we would stay in that limited story that we made up ourselves. So just like what we said about our thoughts that we need to question for the truth or if that's an excuse or not, let's hear our stories that we make up about others and about our own life and just take it as something that we made up and just let them go. That's going to free up so much of our energy and also make our relationships work better because we don't do those uh, assumptions about others based on what our minds is telling us. So this is it for now and thank you very much for listening and watching and I'll come back with another video about a different limiting belief that we might have so that we can overcome that one as well. Thank you very much. See you next time. Be well. Be happy. Thank you.